Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and iOS 9.3.3 Beta 3 is now out. Oh my gosh, it's a mouthful of threes. So I wanted to talk to you guys about what this update brings, just a little heads up of what's going on, iOS 10 a little bit, and the jailbreak update. So there have been some important developments for the jailbreak, and I did want to mention those. First off, 9.3.3 is available both to developers and public testers, and <laughs> there is nothing different. Absolutely no features. They're all under the hood. So pretty much just bug fixes, stability, and Apple is, you know, obviously well known for making their firmwares as stable as possible towards the end of the life cycle. So I wasn't able to find any differences, but I wanted to show you what's still working or not and the date time trick is still working. I was able to successfully install the Game Boy Advance emulator, so you don't need to worry about that. It's still working just fine. The round folders, does that still work? And yes, it does. So that is very good to see. What about this one? Yes, my respring bug is still working with an iPhone 6S Plus also on this firmware. I wanted to see if my famous issue is still here to stay. And it appears... It is. So it was fixed in iOS 10 for me, but 9.3.3, it is still here and it is awful every single time. I have to bring it up. I mean, it's my thing now, right? Let's run a Geekbench real quick, just as a little point of reference. So 2552, 44, 33, 2553, 44, 56. So it did go down just by a little bit. And this is the original beta. So very small progression in between them. But little tiny changes. Okay, so that is 9.3.3. I wanted to talk about iOS 10. So iOS 10 is gonna be out probably next week. I've had a lot of people ask me when the next beta is coming. We might see up to six, seven, eight. I don't think we've ever gone over eight, but I'm very excited to see what changes Apple will bring into the next version of iOS 10. Usually there's a lot because it's such a big update. And Apple is known for removing features even. We used to have the trackpad feature on the keyboard on all devices, not just the success and Apple removed it in later betas. But I'm very curious to see. Of course, I will be keeping you guys updated with that. So quick update on the jailbreak and what's been happening. I in no way am promising a jailbreak will happen. I'm no way guaranteeing anything. I just wanna let you guys know what's going on. So two people have successfully jailbroken iOS 10 already. Luca Tedesco more recently just right now posted that he does have Cydia running on a 64-bit device on iOS 10, and you get that prompt that it has not been optimized for iOS 10. So big congratulations for him. However, will we see this jailbreak in particular? Very, very unlikely, as in the past, he's made no intention of sharing. But, you know, there is still good news from him, and I'll get to that in just a second. Other than that, I Hate Snow has also jailbroken iOS 10, and he posted a video about it. I'll leave a link down below where he actually went through and he showed all the proof necessary that this is a working jailbreak. So if anyone is gonna be coming out with a jailbreak, a fake jailbreak, take note, this is how you show proof. <laughs> but all right, so I Hate Snows is only on 32-bit though, and this is an exploit he's had forever. It's not anything new, so really it wasn't that impressive in the first place, but Luca Tedesco was actually using a new exploit on his iOS 10 jailbreak. So iOS 10 has a jailbreak for both 32 and 64-bit devices that we will never see. There's no reason to get excited about that. I just wanted to show you guys that. What about iOS 9? And earlier, almost a week ago, Luca Tedesco dropped one exploit necessary for jailbreaking iOS 9.3.3 or 3.2. Now take note, 9.3.3 is still in the beta stage, so it's very likely that Apple will patch it in the final release, but just want to clear some things up. He released one part of a jailbreak, one exploit, and it's not even escaped the sandbox yet. So I honestly am not very good with terminology. I'm not a developer, so I'm just relaying some information to you. This is just one piece of the puzzle for the jailbreak, and there are still many missing. But nonetheless, Luca Tedesco finally shared some of his work making a jailbreak possible or easier to make for other jailbreak teams who's going to make the effort to do it. So it's very hard to say if there will be a jailbreak for iOS 9 as a result of this exploit he released, but it can't hurt really. And another important piece of the puzzle was dropped by Marco Grassi. However, I believe his exploit only works on 9.3.1 or lower as it was patched in 9.3.2, but don't quote me on that exactly. So pieces of the puzzle are aligning you know, it is becoming more of a reality to see a jailbreak, but whether it will happen or not, nobody can say. I really don't want to give you guys any false hope, but this is some of the best news we've heard on the jailbreak scene in a few months already. And lastly, I just wanted to mention Pangu's security conference that will be held on July 1st. Will a jailbreak happen there? Absolutely not. I mean, very, very unlikely. But they will be talking a lot about exploits and jailbreak related things, just security in general. So it will be worth a listen. Maybe I'll recap it for you guys later. 
All right, so that's the status of the jailbreak. iOS 10 has one, we'll never see it. iOS 9 is becoming more of a reality, but will that reality ever surface? Who knows? Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.